Hey everyone, today we are going float tubing and fly fishing on this beautiful alpine lake. Now you may be wondering, what is a float tube? And that's a good question. Essentially, they are a personal inflatable watercraft, uh, very much like a U-boat, that are propelled solely with flippers, which you have on your feet. All right, I'm all rigged and ready. I've got my flippers on here. I've got my waders on. I have a life jacket. Super important if you are going out in a personal watercraft. Got to have your life jacket. Um, yeah, let's paddle. Well, while we're paddling out, I thought I'll give you a rundown of what the rough plan is. Um, pretty much for a start, well, what I want to do is I just want to cover some water. I want to try and find some fish. So uh, I'm going to probably work along the rocky edges, find some structure. I don't want to kick too far. I might head over to the other side of the lake, but hopefully we won't have to. We'll see. Um, yeah, but it'll just be about covering some water, trying to find some fish. We have the luxury of being able to attack the banks from the outside, which is really handy. So we'll see how it goes. All right, well, we might start by doing a drift onto this little submerged island I can see here, kind of come down along that nice ledge with some rocks. Uh, what I'm fishing, I'm fishing uh, SA Camo Intermediate here uh, on my six weight lake rod. Um, I don't want to be too deep here um, just because a lot of the food in a lake like this is terrestrial so the fish often look up but it gives me the option to achieve a little bit of depth as well. I've got a little streamer on the point there and I've also got a uh, like a little traditional wet fly which is the Cape McLaren on the top dropper there. Just gives me a nice each way bet. They do like the small traditional flies here like Bibios, Zulus, Cape McLaren. All right. And we're just going to vary up our retrieve and move around, try and get some reactions here. It's actually a really nice wind we've got. I wouldn't want it too flat in these kind of bright, glary conditions. Let's see some beautiful wild brown and rainbow trout that this lake holds. There's one. No way. Oh. <sighs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> that is too good. Thank you, matey. You were listening. <laughs> so cool. Submerged island, that bit of structure. And we've got a little beautiful brown to start. Thank you, mate. Well, that was better than I expected. <laughs> Got it. That was a nice take. I ate that on the pause as I was managing my line a little. It's a nice Kate McLaren eater. Thank you, matey. Thank you, mate. These traditional wet flies are so good for wild brown trout. Brown trout in general, they just catch them. The only downside I'm finding with the old float tube is if you do want to move like this way a little bit, as I'm doing, you can't go like, <laughs> I wanted to move out here. You can't actually go that way. You can't go forwards. You have to paddle backwards like you were rowing. So it takes a little bit of getting used to just to be like, hang on, I actually want to go that way and I have to turn around first. You'll notice I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to fish kind of short. I'm not casting as long as I normally would just because, because you're having to manage the line and strip into your lap here. 
too much line I found like 10 minutes ago was just like line was flipping over there and then I was getting stuck around my flippers and it wasn't super fun so I feel like this is such a nice stealthy approach I don't need to cast far I just want control and I just don't want tangles in my lap or anything like that the smoother I can fish this the more efficiently well the more efficient I should be and hopefully the more effective I am gonna work our way around this lovely submerged rocky island here it's got to be a fish there like that on the ledge oh. thank you matey as long as it, you don't do a little wild brown trout thing like fall off oh. lovely little fish that's awesome Feels like you really got to be on the structure. There you go, mate. Thank you. Really got to be on the structure. Or well, you're not really finding them just at the minute. Oh, go on. Eat that. One just rose across to the right of where my flies would have been tracking through. Just about there, that would have been pretty close to it. Go on, find it. Interesting. Got you. Oh, that's a nice fish. That poleaxed that. Where are you going, mate? Oh. Nice brown. Oh. Spraying everyone and everything. That's a beautiful fish. Look at, oh, if I can ever pick it up. The markings on that brown are absolutely beautiful. Well, I am having just the best time. There were so many fish around these two little islands I fished. So I can't help but decide to head. We're gonna head right over to the other side around the corner because a beautiful rocky shoreline there with like some spits that come out. So I just have to know how good it's going to be there. It should be pretty good. Well, on my new shoreline, all the way across the other side of the lake. And I'm thinking this should be good because it's rock, it's got current, like the islands I was kind of, the submerged rock I was fishing with the wind blowing across it. So I'm thinking this should be hopefully similar. Got you. Oh, stay down. Had to be one on this stuff. Looks so nice. And that one just clobbered it. Nice brown. Come on, mister. Spectacular colors again. Look at that trout. Thank you, mate. Got you. That was a very random take. <laughs> kind of rolled over it. I stripped and nothing was there. And then a few seconds later, my line was going whoosh, and it was obviously swimming towards me in a really bizarre way. It's not a bad fish. 
Nice brown trout. That is a beautiful fish. All right, this is the stuff I was really excited to fish on this little bit. Having that. Where all this wind funnels off this kind of point here. Oh, that's a nice fish. What a great take that was. Oh, that's a beautiful brown. Demolished Kate McLaren on the top dropper. Thank you, mate. What a cracker. Lovely golden fish. Look at that. Spectacular. Kate McLaren was like through the bottom lip. Thank you, mate. How nice is this like edge with the current kind of funneling through there there's another one. Oh, nice little bopper thank you matey you ate that very well for a small small brown trout Got you. That fish ate that and then didn't stick and came back. And that's why I wanted to come across to this point because it's got, thank you mate, such a beautiful rocky edge here. You've woofed that mister. Lovely trout. Thank you. Well, I'm making the big old paddle flip, whatever you want to call it, back across the lake. How much fun was that? This fishery is so cool having, you know, numbers of fish, beautiful scenery, like really accessible. You can fish from the bank, you can fish by a boat, you can do what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so much fun. So as always, don't forget, you can see links to all the gear, um, gear descriptions there below. Uh, you can find links to all the flies, the flies I was using in this video, you can actually buy them just like the rod line, everything there. And uh, yeah, if you want to get out for a day, don't forget, head to my website. You can see the details, where I guide, all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next one.